वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई मलेशिया एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल बी सेटिंग अप द स्प्रेड्स फॉर मार्च एंड आई विल बी यूजिंग अ लॉर ऑफ स्टिकर्स इंस्पायर्ड बाई द कैल्स एंड देयर एनिमल जोडी एक् साइंस वेस्टर्न एंड चाइनीज जोडी एक् साइंस आर प्रिटी फेमस बट डिड यू नो दैट द कैल्स ऑल्सो हैव देयर ओन लूनर ट्री एंड एनिमल जोडी एक् साइंस I didn't know anything about it until I started researching about this month's theme. I initially thought of making all the designs by myself, but I was under the weather and did not have the energy to do any of the drawings or sit for long. So I decided to print them as stickers and in that way the whole setup was very easy on me to do. and i will be having them on my shop as usual so if you like the setup from this month you can easily purchase them i will leave the link in the description below for my store anyway coming to the theme march 17th is saint patrick's day that a lot of irish people fondly call it paddy's day here in ireland If you didn't know I live in Ireland and it has such a rich culture that I wanted to pick only one tiny aspect of it and put it in my journal. The natural instinct is to go with green and something related to Paddy's Day, but I wanted to make this not only a plan with me video just talking about the spreads, but maybe also to impart some knowledge about this amazing country. So coming to the Celts, they first arrived in Ireland around 500 BC. The specifics of this migration remain shrouded in mystery as reliable information on how and when the Celts asserted themselves as the dominant ethnic group in Ireland is scarce. It is widely speculated that their arrival unfolded gradually, a slow yet transformative process that spanned across the Irish landscape, possibly spanning several decades. As the centuries passed, the Celtic presence in Ireland solidified, and by the 5th century AD, a momentous shift occurred with the arrival of Christianity. The synthesis of Celtic culture and the Christian faith contributed to the rich tapestry of Irish heritage, shaping the identity of the land and its people. The enduring legacy of the Celts in Ireland persists, woven into the very fabric of the nation's history and cultural tapestry. So is the zodiac signs and their spiritual meanings. Nearly every culture around the world had ways to honor the lessons from nature and integrate them to help with daily life. The Celts were no exception to this concept. They observed their environment, watching for omens and signs that could guide their actions and interactions. Similarly to Native American traditions, this observation leads to creating a divinatory system that followed monthly moons. Celtic astrology is one of the oldest in the world, primarily used by the natives of Central European nations. The Celts were highly conscious of their environment and imbibed nature in their religion and symbols. Consequently, their astrology is also divided into Celtic tree signs and Celtic animal signs, and both aim to navigate what a person's personality is like. Depending on the month in which you were born, you could determine certain personality traits for yourself and your tribe. Remember, to the Celts, the spiritual world and the mundane were inexplicably and forever connected. They did not compartmentalize life as we do. All is one and one is all. By studying the Celtic animal zodiac signs and meanings, we can help ourselves reattune to nature in meaningful ways. Mother Nature, her cycles, the mythology that holds hidden meanings to many of life's nagging questions are all a part of this system. From birth to rebirth, from humankind to divine kind, the ties that bind us impact our lives in very real and powerful ways every moment. The Celtic animal signs resonate with those influences. The sacred animals of Celtic tradition come from the world in which they live. 
These ordinary creatures became superior in spiritual form and in the stories of the Celts, the shaman of the tribe was the bridge between everyday tribe members and this magical world. The connection between animals and the tribe was so deep that some believed that certain members became animal spirits upon their death or descended from animals. Coming to this spread, this is going to be my habits and mood tracker and I will be tracking only 3 habits this month and it's going to be for reading, no spend and journaling. So I just want to keep it simple as there are a lot of things that are happening and I just want to be more mindful in the way I'm going to track the things and I don't want my journal to look very blank because there are a few things that I would be tracking on my phone as well. So it just makes sense for me at the moment to just track a few uh, habits. I will be using the silicon stamps that I bought from Journal C and the links to the products that I have used here will be all mentioned in the description below. Now coming to the astrological system that we just spoke about and if we go by that, I will be a swan and a few of its traits are graceful, calm, honorable and faithful. But we are here to talk about cats as that was the annual that I chose for creating this month's particular spread. So let me tell you more about this majestic animal that more than half of the internet are crazy about, including me. If you are born between January 21st to February 17, then you, my lucky friend, will fall in the Celtic cat zodiac sign. People born under the Celtic zodiac sign of the cat have fine mind. Your intelligence and humor serve to charm, intrigue and sometimes confound those around you. If this is your Celtic birth sign, you love a bit of mischief in your life. This is not done with malice but rather playful glee. You love setting up surprises and watching them unfold. If shiny ribbon is involved, that's even better. Cats are very psychically aware to the point of making people nervous sometimes. Your whiskers twitch when something is afford, be it good or malicious. You answer people's question before they even ask and can look at situations from various perspectives before forming a conclusion. In fact, observing is a hobby in your life. You love gathering information and tucking it in your pocket for just the right moment, especially if it means helping a friend in need. Cats express themselves vocally and through body language. No one has to worry about wondering what's on your mind unless you decide to keep it as a secret. After all, in Celtic stories, cats often guarded the gateway to the other world or underworld. Here they remain mysterious and hushed, awaiting new arrivals and holding their understanding close to their breast. In a world that often doesn't want to see beyond concrete reality, cat people can be misunderstood. They come across as esoteric seers, slightly erratic and unpredictable. Being unorthodox comes naturally to cat along with a hearty dose of creativity and frolicking. The Celtic cat sign is one that speaks of illusion. Cats can't be fooled into folly. They distrust ignorance and have no desire to flirt with false dogma. Cats inspire us to trust our inner voice rather than ignoring its warnings. It is within that cat discovers personal truth. It's interesting to note that Celtic lore often depicts the cat as part of the fairy world, fierce and protective, surrounded by magic. When cat feels threatened, be ready for an arch back and a killer close. While cat people don't like to fight, they will when cornered and it won't be pretty. The sacred crystal associated with those born under the sign of the cat is amethyst. This vibrant purple stone opens the third eye chakra which explains a lot about the cat's psychic abilities. 
Amethyst is also associated with a keen mind and high intelligence for which our cat people are widely known. While you might think this person is acting on a whim and sometimes they do, there is still a thought process involved somewhere. Cat people aren't needy in terms of attention, but they can be incredibly loving and sensitive. Their charm is nearly irresistible. One of the best attributes of cat people is saying what they mean and meaning what they say. There is never a question as to an honest opinion, even those that cut to the heart of the matter. So you, my lucky friend, who is a cat person, I love you. <laughs> you have an amazing personality. And if any one of you wants to know more about your particular animal zodiac sign, I would highly encourage you to go and do some googling about Celtic zodiac signs. They are so fascinating and so different from what we usually see and I feel that you would enjoy to know a little bit more about your personality or rather you know a lot about your personality and you just want to be sure whether this zodiac signs that has been laid out aren't going to be accurate to you. Moving on to the next spread, it is going to be for my content planner. I usually do not make a separate calendar for every month. I do jot down the important dates and events in the beginning of the journal where I have made the six months um, yearly glance to look at for the important birthdays that I have to like remember all the events so I don't usually put it in as um, a separate calendar because I felt in my past when I used it I actually did not use it you know it was kind of blank so this content planner which is important and I do use it is something that works more like two in one so i can get to see the days and if i want i can put those specific important events and dates even in this one though it is not related to the events it, this is mainly for my content planning for all the different platforms that i have and this would be a right time to say that if you do not follow me on instagram or on tiktok and if you want to do my handle is up here it is coffee journal naps i would be very very happy if you come along and be part of the journey i am planning to or i am aspiring to rather uh have 1000 followers on instagram so if you can go and give me a follow there i will be very happy and thank you so much in advance In terms of the spacing for this particular calendar, I did four grid spaces wide and six grid spaces in height. So that it will be two centimeter wide and three centimeter in height. This is not a very big book and I have talked about it in my previous setups as well, but I really like how handy and comfortable it is for me to carry. It's a traveler size notebook from Notebook Therapy and I love the entirety of this notebook. I have always wanted to use a notebook therapy um, notebook for my journal and I felt that the traveler size notebook would be a good one to initiate the whole process and i must say that i am in love with it i don't know if i will be going back to any other notebooks but 
it's too early to say it's still uh, three months no it's been like two months of me using it and so far i am very happy before i used to club in my daily journaling along with the bullet journaling so that would make my um, bullet journal very chunky but this year i decided to separate it so that i can also do a little flip through of the entirety of my setups once the month ends so it's more like after pen kind of video which i would not be able to do in my previous journals because of all the personal stuff that i would be writing in but here i guess i will be able to show so maybe i will do a quick flip through in the end of june because i'm planning to move to a different notebook which is going to be again a notebook therapist traveler's notebook so i guess i will do i don't know if i will be able to completely fill up this notebook by the end of june but that's something that i have in mind and also i will be doing a half yearly bullet journal setup video if i reach towards the end of this book so make sure that you are subscribed and you turn on your notifications so every time i post a video you will be alerted I will use these shamrock leaves to fill up the empty space and I will also color it in black to just make it more concise and cohesive with the theme. Initially I thought of leaving it blank but it just looked so stark on the cream colored paper that I felt that it was just you know making it too obvious and just standing out too much so i will color it with my black fudanowski pen Moving on to the final spread of this video, this is going to be for the first week of March and I am going to do horizontal boxes per se to divide the spread and put the dates along with it. Since March starts on a Friday, it is very tricky to kind of make a separate spread just for those two days because I start my week on sunday so there would be just friday and saturday and it feels like a waste of space if i just you know put those two dates in one particular spread so i decided to just divide the first horizontal box into two and put friday and saturday and the remaining of the second week will be included in this one so it's not technically the first week so it's going to be a combination of first and second week in this particular weekly spread i like the horizontal weekly spread in this uh, traveler size notebook because it allows me to write a lot more i do like the boxes as well so i am you know kind of experimenting and also recycling all the different formats that i have used in the previous setup because some of them has really worked well for me and some not so much i am going to fill up the space and just decorate it a little bit with the border stickers as well as the cat sticker over here 
once again all this will be available by next week so in a week's time i will be updating most of these theme related stickers in my etsy shop I'm also going to update a few more stickers this week and these are going to be more vintage inspired stamps and I am also doing a lot of gold foil prints so those will be also available. The one the cat um, design that you saw in the cover page will be available in form of normal art print stickers like vinyl die cut stickers and as well as in gold foil prints i will be popping the picture up here so you can have an idea it's more of a distressed look that i am going with this is going to be on a black cardstock which is a 200 gsm cardstock paper if you want i can do it on a white cardstock with the gold foils there are a few different foils that i am experimenting with right now so the iridescent one and the gold one has actually come up pretty well the others not so much so i'm not going to put them at the moment but i do intend to bring in different colors and put them in art prints so they will come in a5 a6 and a4 size Well friends, we have reached to the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Here is a quick flip through of the setup that we did and it is the cat inspired zodiac sign from the Celtic world. If you have sticked around till the end of this video, drop a cat emoji in the comments so I know that you have been there till the end. And if you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Your subscription really supports in growing my channel and also you liking the video shows it to other potential journal enthusiasts who would be willing to be part of this community and as always i will see you in the next one bye